Hey guys, welcome to the new seven round New York Giants mock draft 4.0 from Big Pat Sports Talk. As you can see, we got some interesting people in the background here. So sit back, crack you a Coke, whatever you drink, get you some chips, get whatever you need to eat, man. Sit back and relax and enjoy this new mock draft from Big Pat, Big Pat Sports Talk. You know, I'm going to talk my talk no matter what you thought. Let's get it. Okay, we're going to start off the draft with a trade. Trade alert, New York Giants. Trade the number five pick to the New York Jets. The New York Giants received the number 10 pick, the number 35 pick, and number 145 pick in this year's draft, and the second round pick in 2023. The New York Jets get the number five pick. And with that pick, they select Kyle Hamilton, Hamilton safety, Notre Dame. With the number seven pick in this year's NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Akeem Ikwanu, offensive tackle, North Carolina State. All right, guys, you heard the pick. It was announced with the number seven pick. We take Mr. Akeem Ikwanu, offensive tackle slash offensive guard from North Carolina State, 6'4", 320, has an 89.7 out of 100 rating. They say rank position six, but I got him as my number one tackle. They got a predicted to do a, a round of four, eight, nine, forty time, and that's absolutely amazing. A guy running a sub five down to a four eight, that big. As you can see with his highlights, man, he's a mauler. He's a brawler down there, man. He's gonna get this running game going very well. Uh, his pass blocking is at a 77 percent, which is good. Could be worked on a lot more. Uh, his run blocking percentage is at 100%. This is what they project him to be when he's coming out. That's why he's at 89.7. But he had a high uh, pass blocking grade and a high run blocking grade in college. And I just think he's the best tackle available in this draft. I know a lot of people are going to have Evan Neal. A lot of people may have Cross ahead of Iquanu. But I just got Iquanu as the best available uh, tackle slash guard that we can get with the number seven pick. So, Akimi Kwanu, number seven pick overall for the New York Giants. Let's roll grade some people, baby. With the number 10 pick in this year's NFL Draft, the New York Giants select center Tyler Linderbaum, Iowa. All right, you heard the pick. Up next at number 10, we got Mr. Tyler Linderbaum, center from Iowa, 6'3", 290. Position rank, I guess out of all linemen, was four. He has a 90.5 player rating. Projected 40 times, 5.14. I think he's going to run faster than that, man, because I've seen the highlight when he was running down the field and he was outrunning his doggone receiver to get the block. They got him a 90.5 overall. As far as blocking, his pass block is a 92, run blocking 100. We need this guy on this offensive line, people. I know a lot of people are like, you don't need to go double on offensive line. But with the number seven and number ten pick, man, I got those big road graders that we need. We're not calling them hog mollies anymore. We're calling them road graders. Uh, they say he's a little bit small at 6'3", 290. But, man, I've seen this guy in the video put Tristan Wirfs on his butt. And as you can see in this video, man, that guy runs down the field to get blocks. He's very smart. He will know how to uh, read the pass rush that's coming and call it out to the other lineman. I think he, I think he will be Daniel Jones or whoever's the quarterback here in New York, best friend. I think this guy comes in and makes an immediate impact. Uh, I say halfway through the season, he's going to be one of the best centers in the league. So, 
Mr. Tyler Lindenbaum, man, I will continue to pick you, bro. I think you're perfect for this New York Giants team. I think you bring an attitude. I think you bring an absolute, just fierce way to the offensive line that we need. Because we need road graders, man. We need these two guys to pave the road for us. Hopefully, we can get some uh, free agent linemen and free agency. But with these two guys, man, and Andrew Thomas, I think our line is set for years to come. So, Mr. Tyler Linderbaum, at pick number 10 after the trade with the Jets for the uh, number 5 pick. We take Tyler Linderbaum at 10. Welcome to the G-Man, kid. With the th number 35 pick in this year's NFL Draft, the New York Giants select inside linebacker Christian Harris, Alabama. All right, with the number 35 pick that we picked up from the New York Jets because they traded for the number five pick, we pick up inside linebacker Christian Harris from Alabama, 6'2", 232, uh, ranked fourth at his position. They say his 40 times going to be around a 467. I say, heck no, that guy plays way faster than that. He has an 86.8 player rating. They, let's go over his attributes. They give him a 76% on tackling, 75% in pass rush, 72% in run defense, 54% in coverage. I say all those will get better within his first year of playing here and with the New York Giants. Him and Blake Martinez in the middle of that line will be absolutely deadly. I, I truly believe that this guy is underrated. I think he's the second best inside linebacker behind Devin Lloyd. And it's between him and the Kobe Dean with the inside linebacker position. But I think this guy falls to us in the second round. And getting this guy in the second round will be an absolute steal. 6'2", 232. Good size, a good weight for an inside linebacker. Um, he may be able to put on a good 5 to 8 pounds and still keep that speed and explosion. And, man, this guy gets to the quarterback and this guy's a sure tackler. Uh, I think his tackling percentage needs to be up in around the, the high 80s, but they give him a 76. Um, this guy's going to be young. He's going to get molded by Blake Martinez, and we see Tate Crowder hit the hole the way that he hits the hole sometimes. I think this guy does this way more consistently, and he comes to hit. This guy's a sure tackler, and we're going to love to have him on the New York Giants. So, with the number 35 pick. The New York Giants select Christian Harris inside linebacker Alabama. We get a playmaker to go online alongside Blake Martinez. Let's go get it. With the number 36 pick in this year's NFL draft, the New York Giants select Kingsley Ignigbre, Edge, South Carolina. All right, we got back-to-back -back picks with the number 36 pick. The New York Giants selected Kingsley Enigbari from South Carolina, 6'4", 261, edge, uh, senior. We got him position ranked number nine. I think he's higher than that. Um, and he's showing out in the senior bowl right now. They got him projected to do a 4'7", 8'40". I think he's going to be in the high 4'5". They got his overall rating of 88.8 .8 out of 100, tackling 72%, pass rush 100%, run defense 73%. I would say his run defense is way higher than 73% when you look at this man's film. This man is an absolute robot. He's coming to get you every single play. He's going to give you every single bit of him on every single play, and that's what I love about this kid. He's tough. He's strong. He has long arms. He has good playing strength. He tackles well. And he can work on his pass rush a little bit. But we're going to get that uh, down. With, uh, his, all he has to do is use his hands more. He has a spin move. He has a swim move. And he has a motor that just does not quit. He has a motor of those guys that, that make the team just because of their motor. But this guy has the talent to back, to back up with it. So, Kingsley Ignogbari. Ignogbari. Got to get used to that. South Carolina. We get that edge that we need. We got two linemen, and we get that middle linebacker that we need to help this defense and this offense, man. This, this draft is being very balanced so far, and I'm loving it. Kingsley Ignogbari, welcome to the New York Giants, kid. Now, we'll get your name right. <laughs> With the number 67 pick in this year's NFL draft, the New York Giants select 
Logan Hall, defensive tackle, University of Houston. All right, with the number 67 pick, the New York Giants select defensive tackle Logan Hall from the University of Houston, 6'6", 278, 86.4 rating out of 100. Guys projected to run a 4.58 at defensive tackle, an 82 tackling percentage, 89 pass rush, 80 run defense. I think this guy, man, He's going to be a playmaker for this team, man. He's going to be a playmaker on those key third downs where we can put him in there. He's strong enough to hold up against the run, and he's fast enough to get back there and get some pass rush. Imagine him, Leonard Williams, and Dexter Lawrence, and maybe Enigre or Ojolari. Man, we got so many people that we can put up, put it at that front of the line, man, with Christian Harris and, and Blake Martinez to back him up. I think this kid would be a key call to this defense going forward man and he's going to develop with the OJ Lawrence, the Ellerson Smiths, the Rochers. We just have a we're going to have a heavy rotation of defensive linemen this year. That's what the Bills usually do and I think that's that going to be their plan going into this draft man. We're going to have a heavy rotation of guys. Everybody's going to be just just rested coming in. We're just going to keep coming at you the whole time coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. Because I I, I think that's I think that's the way the Bills come at teams. And you got you got to be a pretty special team to put up a lot of points on the Bills, like the Chiefs or anybody like that. They should have won that game, but 13 seconds you can't hold up. He has long arms. I mean, man, this this guy here, he's just balling out, balling out in the Senior Bowl. So hopefully he would be here at, at around the 67th pick. But Logan Hall, defensive end slash defensive tackle from the University of Houston. Welcome to the New York Giants, kid. With the number 81 pick in this year's NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Jerome Ford, running back, Cincinnati. All right, next at pick 81, yes, we selected Mr. Jerome Ford, running back, Cincinnati, 5'11", 209. Got an 81.4 player rating out of 100. This guy, man, they got him uh, running at the 4-3, the 4-3-6, 4-3-5 range at 5-11, 209. That is absolutely stellar to be running that fast, to be that big. Uh, they got him an 84% uh, percent rushing, receiving hands, 65% pass blocking 50, run blocking 51. Um, he has great arm length and just that speed and a combination of power, man. I think this kid is going to be absolutely special. To get him at pick 81 is an absolute steal. I think this guy could turn in to be the bell cow. Let's say if, say if we don't pay Saquon Barkley here in the future. I know that's not popular amongst Giants fans right now. We want Saquon Barkley to succeed. I want him to succeed too, but imagine a one-two punch with this guy and Saquon Barkley being healthy 5'11 209 he's a bigger back and he has 4'3 speed so we're not losing too much speed and we're not losing too much power when when he comes in to spell Saquon Barkley so hey this guy at number 81 I'm always gonna put this guy in our mock drives man I think this guy's an absolute steal going in the third to fourth round and he helps out this run game a lot he's better than Booker I'll say it he's better than Booker so with him and Saquon Barkley, the one-two punch, let's get it, man. Jerome Ford, let's get in there and run that ball, man. With the 109th pick in this year's NFL Draft, the New York Giants select tight end Jeremy Rucker, Ohio State. All right, with the 109th pick, the New York Giants select Jeremy Rucker, tight end from Ohio State, 6'5", 250. Has an 83.5 rating out of 100. Got him ranked the third ranked tight end. I think he's a little bit lower than that. That's why we're getting him this late in the draft. But, man, they say he has 82 hands, short receiving, 67 intermediate routes, 80% deep threat, 70%. A high blocking percentage at tight end of 61%. That's what we need, man. He's an extension of our offensive line, but this kid can receive the ball. He can go up there and get it, and he's a good red zone target. Look for him to do what we wanted Kyle Rudolph to be able to do. 
He's 6'5", 250, big stature, tight end, and also can block. Good arms, good strength. I think this kid is faster than what they have him here. Um, I just think this kid would be dynamite in our offense, man. He would definitely help out whatever, wherever quarterback we have back there. It's slated to be Daniel Jones. I will see. I will say it's Daniel Jones until I see different. I know a lot of fans out there want Malik Willis, so we'll see. But Jeremy Record, we get him that uh, security blanket. Whoever our quarterback is, 6'5", 250 out of Ohio State. Welcome to the G-Man, kid. With the 145th pick in this year's NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Sky Moore, wide receiver, Western Michigan. All right, with the 145th pick, we finally get another weapon for Daniel Jones, or like I said, whoever the quarterback is, Mr. Sky Moore, 5'10", 195. 86.4 rating out of 100. They got him the 8th eighth, eighth ranked receiver. They say his hands is 80%. Short receiving 84. Intermediate routes 89. Deep threat 88. And he has a 62% blocking rating at receiver. Don't let the small stature fool you. The 5'10", 195. This dude's an absolute beast. And he could climb the ladder against any DB that he plays against. With a 4'3", time. Man, if he does that, I doubted that he would be here. But... We're going to select him here at the 145th pick. I get Steve Smith vibes from this kid, man. Steve Smith Sr. When I say this kid's an absolute monster on the field, man, playing for uh, Western Michigan, he made plays all year long, and it didn't matter. It intermediate. He routes you up. He goes deep, goes across the middle, makes those tough catches, gets popped, stands right back up, and yells in your face intermediate routes screens man anything you need this kid to do he can do man this dude is that dynamic man i think this kid is a whole lot better than people give him credit for because he played at western michigan but i get steve smith vibes from this kid he's not going down when you first touch him and he's going to block his butt off on run plays he's going to climb the ladder and jump over people to get the ball even though he's 5'10 he can burn it past you. He can catch it over the middle. He can juke you. He can do returns. Man, this kid is dynamic. When we get this kid at this pick, it's an absolute steal. But with the number 145th pick, we select Sky Moore, Western Michigan. With the 146th pick, and then she... Years NFL draft, the New York Giants select Justin Schaefer, offensive guard, Georgia. All right, with the 146th pick, the New York Giants select Justin Schaefer, offensive guard from Georgia. Man, we love these Georgia guys, man. But 6'4, 326. He's a guard. He has a 71.0 rating out of 100. They got his pass blocking at 62%, the run blocking at 80%. And yes, this guy needs a lot of work. I will say this, he's tough and he's gritty and he's gonna he's gonna give his all when he goes in there. But we we didn't draft this guy to be uh, the number one starter on the team. We draft this guy for death. Uh, I think we got a great offensive line coach and OG Bobby Johnson. That's what I call him and that's what's gonna be his name, OG Bobby Johnson, our offensive line coach, Mr. Bobby Johnson. I think this guy, he coaches him up. And he turns into a good death piece for us. That, that's what we need. Not only do we need starters, we need death as well in this offensive line. So <laughs> I believe this guy will also bring that death to us and maybe even be able to start for us. Um, so I think OG Bobby Johnson, man, gets Justin Sha Schaefer up to par. And let's see. Let's see what he can do for us, man. So. At the number 146 pick, we take Justin Schaefer, 6'4", at 326, 6'4", 326 at offensive guard, 71 player rating. Let's see if we can get that a little bit higher after his rookie year. Welcome to the G-Man, Justin. With the 172nd pick in this year's NFL Draft, the New York Giants select James Mitchell, tight end, Virginia Tech. 
with the 172nd pick in the 72nd pick in the NFL draft, New York Giants select James Mitchell, tight end, Virginia Tech. This kid is big, 6'3", 242, man. He could be that receiving tight end that we need alongside Jeremy Rucker. <coughs> um, we need tight ends here in New York, man. I know, uh, I think Caden Smith could be a good tight end in the system, but let's see if he's not falling completely out of favor with the New York Giants. Um, I just think this kid can be a definitely be a one-two punch with Jeremy Ruckert at the tight end position. He can fill in at the H-back position as well. Uh, let's just hope he can stay healthy. This is the reason why he's dropped this far because he's coming off an injury. So we all know about those injuries here in New York, but we're getting them in the late in the fifth round so man is uh, not a high risk but uh, it can be a high reward so i think this guy man you put this guy at tight end he makes some plays for us in the red zone and he's a guy that can just keep the chains moving man he's tough across the middle like i said if he keeps healthy maybe he can turn into that number two tight end that could just make plays down the field for us man that's what we need we need tight ends in this system so with the 172nd pick, we take James Mitchell tight end from Virginia Tech, 6'3", 242. Guy's an absolute beast when he's healthy. So let's let's get him healthy and let's get him here in New York and let's let's get him let's move the chains with James Mitchell. Welcome to the G Man. With the 182nd pick in this year year's NFL draft, the New York Giants select Jake Kamar Kamarda Punter. Georgia. All right, with their last pick, the New York Giants select Hunter Jake Camarda from Georgia. Uh, this is exactly what we need, man. Uh, we got a punter that's making three million dollars. Uh, we can actually save three point two million dollars if we cut and uh, Riley Dixon, and I think we're gonna do that. And I think this kid coming off one of the best punting seasons in college football in a very long time. He'd be there in the sixth round with our last pick. And we take Jake Carmada, man. I mean, Camarda. I mean, our special teams was pretty good. We uh, held over our special teams coordinator. We finished 10th, even though we had one of the worst punters in the league as far as punting the ball. So, hey, if this guy could be a middle-of-the-road punter, we'll have a lot better field position. And we'll get our special teams and probably be in the top five. Who knows? But... With our last pick in the draft, we take Jake Camarda, punter, out of Georgia. And that's how we end the draft. All right, so as you can see here, we're come to the end of the New York Giants full seven-round mock draft 4.0. This is my fourth one. The other three, you guys have been so amazing, man. Hopefully this gets great results. You guys like these picks as well. First round, Akeem Ikwanu and Tyler Lindebaum. You know we're getting two offensive linemen in that first two round. Two big dogs. Let's go out there, run the ball, and let's go out there and crush some people. In the second round, we get two more dogs. We get uh, Kingsley and Nick Bray, and we get Christian Harris to help out this defense. Man, Christian Harris and Nick Bray, Ojalari, Roche, Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence. Man, it just keeps going on and on and on. Blake Martinez, Ellerson Smith, all those guys, man, that's a good front seven there, man. I think we could do some things with that front seven. Unfortunately, we lost Patrick Graham yesterday, but I don't know. Maybe we get Wink. Maybe we get Zimmer. We'll get somebody in here to come and work with that front seven, man. They'll be absolutely happy. In the third round, we get two more dogs. Logan Hall, defensive tackle that's very fast, very strong, very lean. And I think he can make some things happen inside that front seven. I think that rotation of linemen is very important with the way we're going to run this defense this upcoming year. Logan Hall, defensive tackle from Houston. Jerome Ford, man, you know that's my guy, man. Jerome Ford. Running back, I think he could take over the number one running back spot if Saquon Barkley doesn't last here in New York. I'm just saying. Then in the fourth round, we get Jeremy Rucker, tight end, Ohio State. One of the best receiving tight ends and, and, and coming out of college this year. 6'5", 260, man. Just, just an absolute beast of a tight end, man. He's going to help us out a whole lot. 
right after him we get another weapon of sky Moore. i'm telling you man this guy reminds me of steve smith senior this guy can stay healthy this guy is strong even though he's only 5'10", the guy runs a 4'3". He can route you up. He can burn past you. He can out-muscle you. He can out-jump you. He can throw back shoulder. This kid can do everything that you want him to do. I think he can turn into a number one receiver sometime in his league throughout his career. We get Sky Moore another weapon. Then we get Justin Schaefer, another big man, another offensive guard. Let's coach him up, OG Bobby Johnson. Let's coach these linemen up. Let's coach them up to be better than what they came into the league. Let's coach them up, man. We get these guys coached up. Sky's the limit for this offensive line. I'm not saying that uh, Schaefer would be a starter, but he will damn sure be a good deaf piece of past to what we had. Uh, Nate Soda, Ben Bredesen, Matt Skura, Hernandez. Man, it's just, it's just been terrible. Pert, good Lord. So, those three guys that show up that offensive line, I'm quite sure we get some free agents as well. Right after Schaefer, we get James Mitchell, tight end, Virginia Tech, 6'3", 242. Could be that sneaky receiver tight end and receiving tight end when we have that big set and we want to run a play, act play action out of it. Make you pay across the middle. So, hopefully he can stay healthy and he can make a, a difference on this team. And last but not least, Jake Camarda. New punter, paying them way less. Not going to have to pay $3 million for less than spectacular play. We could be paying a six-round pick for a spectacular, spectacular play. So that's this uh, this mock draft, uh, draft class 4.0. Get yourself two tight ends and a receiver. You get yourself an inside linebacker. You get yourself three offensive linemen. You get yourself two defensive linemen, man. I'm going to keep it balanced for you guys, and I think that's the way that they're going to go about this. Some may, some things may change a little bit. They may go three offensive alignment or two offensive alignment and three defensive alignment, but I think it's going to be uh, uh, man, it's gonna be a very balanced draft with these guys, man. So I'd like to thank you guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We're almost at 1,000. You guys understand we are 10 subscribers away from 1,000. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for supporting Big Pass Sports Talk, man. We're almost at 1,000. We're going to make it there. So, hit that like and subscribe button. And until the next mock draft, peace. This has been a Big Blue Crew production.